collecting data. Now, when you collect data, you can either do it from a primary source or you can do it from a secondary source. Now, to help you understand the difference between the two, we're going to go back to our previous example we were discussing where you owned a shoe store and you're trying to figure out how many of each sized shoe do you need to buy. Okay, so if we were to do what's called a primary source, that's first hand data collection. That's where you are the one going out and finding this out. You could be doing it by interviewing people, conducting experiments, just by observation as people walk into your store maybe. So let's say um, you decided that you were just going to ask everyone who came into your store what size shoe you were until you got a good idea of um, how many people had each size shoe. Okay, so just for this one, just to make it a bit more simple, let's just say it was just 20 men you asked and you found that eight of them were size nine, six were size 10, five were size eight. Um, this is actually not working out very well because now I don't have much left over. So uh, let's, let's bring this down just one each. Let's say um, uh, seven, five, five. So that only leaves us three more. So uh, two were size 11, one was size seven, and no one seemed to be size 12. Okay, so this adds up to 20. Okay, and from this data, you can kind of see that more of the men were size nine, and there were a good amount with size eight and 10, and, and not so many with size 11 or seven. And this, is a, this data will help you decide how many of each size shoe you should buy. Right. Okay, now the next one we're talking about is what's called a secondary source of data. And this is where data was collected by someone else, right? And you're just, I guess you could say, stealing their data or looking at their data. And this is quite often something that you get from the internet, such as a newspaper article, just by searching something on Google or looking at um, census documents and things like that. Now, I actually found a secondary source of data just here, I'm going to make it really big so you can see it. Oh, it's interesting. It goes behind the words. Let's bring it forward. There we go. And this is the shoe sizes for UK men. And it also has a percentage. So 15% of people had size 8.5 shoes, right? So this was quite easy to find. I just found it on, on Google and it's a really nice graph and very informative for me at my shoe store, right? There are advantages and disadvantages to both of them. And the advantage to the graph, the secondary source, is that it was easy, it was cheap, it was it was quick to do. But the disadvantage is that I actually really don't know where this information comes from and I don't know how true it is. And I don't know, and this is, says UK men, I don't know if this applies to men in the um, United Kingdom or if it applies to men in Australia or, or wherever my shoe store might be. Okay, so there are disadvantages to this. The primary source of data uh, is usually the most accurate because um, primary sources, you know where the data came from, you know that it's reliable because you actually collected it yourself. Okay, but primary sources take a long time and they can be costly as well.